I feel like once you have your wedding venue plus your wedding dress, the rest is pretty much easy. Yeah, right. Who am I kidding? Planning a wedding is so freaking stressful. Okay, so today we are discussing finding the perfect wedding venue. So stay tuned to the end of this video because I will be showing you guys what wedding venue we picked. Ah! So I just want to get the first things out of the way, which is budget. Make sure you guys have a budget going in. Otherwise, you guys are going to be so confused and lost and not really know how to find a venue or how to even know how much to spend if you don't have a budget. So I would recommend sitting down, coming up with a budget, and do know you will go over. So plan on going over your budget a couple grand. And, you know, so you have to make sure that you're okay with what you're spending and you don't want to spend so much that you're going to be in debt forever, right? Especially if you're planning on, you know, finding a house very soon or having a baby or, you know, there's so much other things in life than just a wedding. So make sure it's a budget that you guys are both really comfortable paying or hey, if your parents are helping you, then more power to you. But again, even if you're using your parents' money, then please make sure that you know, you know, it's a number that everybody is comfortable with paying. After coming up with your budget, I would then recommend to look at three different wedding venues. Now, if you like the whole country style, make sure you look at three different um, venues that pertain to like a country ranch style wedding, right? Or if you want a garden wedding, then I would definitely recommend to look at three different locations that pertain to a garden or three different locations all together if you don't really know what you want. That way you get a feel for each different venue and each different location and then you'll have an idea of what it is you want exactly. So Javi and I looked at three different wedding venues. The first one that we looked at was in Calabasas and it was a beautiful old style like home, kind of like a mansion that overlooked um, the hills and the mountains. It was beautiful. The outside was breathtaking but the inside was very outdated and not our style at all. So venue number two that we looked at was everything that we wanted as far as the inside of the home. So the home was like this European Spanish style with like white walls and lots of brown wood, brown beams. It was stunning. But then when we got to the outside, we realized that the backyard was a lot smaller than they had pictured. So we were like, there's no way we can host all these people in this backyard. So house number two was basically the opposite from house one. We liked the outside of house one and not the inside. House number two, we liked the inside of the home, but we didn't like the outside of the home. Then we looked at a third home and this third home like mansion um, was kind of more of a ranch style, but it was huge. It was in Santa Barbara um, and it was everything that that we wanted the inside of the home the outside of the home there was tons of room tons of space for everybody and our guests we were so ready to make our deposit and then we got a phone call saying that the man that owned the home was no longer going to be renting it because he fell broke his hip and he was just no longer renting his home and we were completely devastated we said you know what we looked at three venues already and nothing was you know what we wanted we were completely devastated because we had our whole vision we had our heart set on this place already and we were like you know what we're done shopping for wedding venues and then I went to an event and they actually hosted this event at the hotel and when I went to it I was like oh my gosh this is this is it this is where i'm getting married i called javi right away i said you know what you got to come and check out this wedding venue um it is absolutely stunning and it makes you feel like you're on vacation somewhere in mexico it overlooks the ocean you could see the city skyline it's absolutely breathtaking and i was like you know what this is this is it 
So I feel like when you just know, you just know that that is the venue for you guys. So Javi and I are heading to our wedding venue and we are trying to decide whether we want the ceremony at location A or location B. time because location A offers you more room it overlooks it's like literally right on top of the water it has a very grand entrance location B is a lot more smaller a lot more intimate at this point it's just up to us to decide which one we want not sure which location we're going to actually get married yeah, well. The sun start. sets that way, so there will be no sun. No sun, because right now I'm really dark. No sun. This is the background view. Ooh, this looks pretty actually. Yeah, dude, it works really well. But I still like the other one more. Okay. <clears throat> we can get that. That would be wonderful. It's like this scene, or this like where you can have a ceremony, and then that one. And I remember we originally spoke about this one right here, and then I said, oh, you know what, I want to switch it to this one, and there was no like fee for that. Yeah, because oh. it's the same yard. You're just like using it. But trust me, if there's a wedding on that one, you're going to want that one. Like, you think you're going to have two weddings on the same day and you're going to use theirs? Okay, so there's also a dilemma. Our wedding venue actually has these curtains that are blocking our beautiful view of the ocean, the city skyline, and Javi hates them. He literally wants to burn them. I understand if you go to that corner, get it. That one? Why would you have that curtain there? He wants to burn them. let us know down in the comments below which location ceremony do you like better a or location B make sure you guys stay tuned to next week where I'm gonna be showing you guys how I've been staying in shape or getting in shape for the wedding and I'm so excited to show you guys my routine and what I'm kind of doing to stay fit and get ready and get in shape for the wedding